Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Haven't played this in a couple of weeks, but I'm back because they had a, a minor but kind of impactful, impactful patch that I'm a big fan of recently. Uh, specifically allowing you to pin, um, ooh, 12% EXP gain, sure. Uh, pin things in shops, which actually is huge. Uh, namely from the perspective of, I can't tell you how many times I've re-rolled a shop into garbage because I was... I was like, eh, I don't like this that that much. And yeah, we want to go for the evolutions. The sniper rifle is very strong, but a little limited early on. And if I can fix it so it's not, we're going to be in for a good good time. I'll go for a little bit more experience gain. I should probably focus on the gun, but you know. 20% EXP gain bonus right from the start is probably great. Hard to say exactly, but yeah, being able to pin stuff in the shop, I don't know, it was kind of one of those wish list items that I was like, yeah, I hope they add this. It would just make sense, right? And they didn't. And also, I will take any opportunity to play this again. It's so weird. Like, I, I keep going back to this, and I'll probably reference it a couple of times. Oh, we don't need more Markite. Boss, that supply drop's in a bad spot. I mean, it looks like I don't have to mine to get it, which is good. But it does also look like I'm going to have to, um... Play some Risk. So, we've got a medium weapon. I guess I'll go for the Jury Rig Boomstick. Uh, life and life regen? Sure. And reload speed. I'll take the Boomstick. So, fire rate for all projectile weapons. Or reload speed for medium. We need the reload speed pretty bad on them. Fire rate, maybe is not that good. Pickup radius or mining speed, oof. That's tough. They also added a beam range. Oh, I'm glad I went down here. They also added beam range as an upgrade. So we might want to actually go back to our, um, our digger run. Was it digger or is it a heavy guy? Uh, but specifically trying to go for maximum beam. Because that's that's another one of those like wish list things that I'd love to be able to pull off here. Okay, so this is kind of a doozy. My thoughts are a lot of experience just hanging out back here. Wheat Slash is already here. It's not great. I'll just go for the damage. Main problem is we've barely seen this level. Uh, we did have kind of a nice little uh, windfall earlier. Oh, interesting. They bounce off of the resources. That's why those are not pre-mined. Okay. Scoot over here. Bunch of Morkite, but that's not what we need. I just need another, like, vein of gold or two. A lot of boomers in this mix. Oop. Kind of ill-timed... Magnet. I wish I had gotten it just, like, a little bit earlier. Do we reroll? Is that worth it? No. Uh, let's see. Plasma Carbine? Sure. I don't think I've gotten any upgrades dedicated to Kinetic. It's been mostly uh, projectile and medium. And so if I can have those be the, the two like keywords that I focus on, I can actually get upgrades for this sucker. Or at least the universal upgrades can apply to this, this sucker. Damn. Okay. I was going to go for those extra resources, but it looks like I'm out of time, out of luck. So instead I'm just going to... Cut through the horde. Fire rate for all projectile weapons. Hell yeah. And like 100 gold and... 54 nitra is not bad. And we're cutting through them kind of quickly. I should maybe have gone for the damage up, but whatever. Alright. So let's see if we get lucky in the shop. Yes. 
Mining speed, pickup radius. Uh, paint job, sure. Electrical, no. Clip size, reduce reload speed. I could also salvage it, but I don't like that. I don't want to change the damage type. And I'll just gain the experience gain. But yeah, big mining speed upgrade, decent pickup radius, and uh, we've at least got one overclock to speak of. It's fascinating playing other bullet heavens and how few of them have substantive overclock or evolution or upgrade systems. There is a couple. I, I don't know, it's weird. This whole genre is kind of this like weird playing telephone with the same ideas and seeing how many different variations you can get on those same ideas. There we go. I like it in a way because you get a lot of fun variations and neat ideas and execution. But there are definitely times where I'm just like, no, you must learn. I guess I could have gone for the fire damage. Just go for a secret status effect build. Okay, so this is going to suck no matter what I do. I figure better to take the damage and get where I want to go than not take the damage and be stuck. Okay. Let's just cut through the rock, grab the nitra, get the supply drop, and then keep looking for things. Fighting enemies is nice, but because of the diminishing returns in this game, it's not like big huge. Especially because at this point, my damage is mostly fine. Oh. That's a new one. Okay, so fire rate but reduced movement speed. That's pretty good, but maybe not on this run. Oh, uh, turbo, turbo Incabulator. Extra damage, extra reload, but reduced mining speed. No, I think I'm just going to go for the ammo rig. I've got some speed to spare, and the fire rate on these weapons is going to be nice, because now I don't need to... Fire rate is now... I'm not going to call it a dump stat exactly, but... It's not terribly important. And my mining speed... Like, I'm more limited by mining speed than movement speed. Piercing? That's a new stat. Like, we still do get some experience from mining Morkite, so it's, like, vaguely worth it. I don't think I'd go out of my way for it normally. I don't remember what that does. I think it causes a cave-in. I was kind of hoping that would actually hit my enemies. Oh! I should mine the other direction, is the answer. Am I going to find anything else here? I'm actually kind of digging the jury rig boomstick. I mean, I think I kind of knew the jury rig boomstick was good, though. Hell yeah. Oh, that's the boss. Ow. That's not great for me. The downside of me being very slow, I can get puked to death. Use the boss's toast. All right, now I just have to figure out how to get through this entire wall of horrors. Okay, deep core shoots and bursts. Targets the closest enemy. Sure, I'll grab it. I think it's another medium weapon anyway. Big reload speed bonus. Okay, I've got a couple seconds. 
I'm gonna keep working on this one for the moment. There's some red sugar so I don't stink and die. Try to take minimal damage and don't spend too much time here. Not bad. Could have used a magnet, but that's always true. Mm. Eh. Yes. Do we grab piercing on it? Sure. Do we reroll again? No. Alright, so big crit upgrade. I wasn't paying full attention to all of the upgrades I was given there, but that's fine. Okay. Let's see. I guess what I should probably do... Oh, right. We do need six Apocabloom. So I guess I'll just wander, do my thing. Yeah, because I could also, I could use the red sugar. We found some resources. The one problem I, I do find with my like digging strategy in a lot of these cases is that I, I usually run up the middle and spend a lot of time kind of waffling on a direction. It's better to do like an outer circuit, find an edge and stick to it. I'm kind of bad at that. It's not that bad, but it's one of those where, like, I'm fairly certain there's, like, a much more efficient... You know what? I should actually grab this red sugar while I'm here. There's a much more efficient pattern than what I take. I'm just easily distractible. On the flip side, I am fairly lethal at the moment. Which feels quite good. I think I'm maybe a little strong for uh, three-tier hazard. I'm mostly on it just because uh, I think they scaled the game up a little bit more to account for the new progression systems. And I'm not in the habit of taking too many unnecessary risks. Gain three levels and Nitra. So the reason why I don't want to gain get the gain three levels is that actively... Oh, hey, we have a magnet. That actively works against me with diminishing returns. You want those upgrades at the very end where you're unlikely to gain three levels. But like here, uh, where I'm liable to gain many, many levels, I'd rather get any other upgrade, especially because like enough Nitra and I'm, uh, like Nitra itself gets me levels or the equivalent they're in without the diminishing returns. Okay, well I need a pocket blooms, but. I don't think I'm going for both of those. Holy shit, this got busy. Other thing to note, we know where a magnet is. I've got a little bit of time, and there's nothing else to distract me. Oh, did I start in the bottom corner of this map? I think I did. Oh, there's a bunch of red sugar. I'm like I have some regen, so I'm not that hard up. But I'd still rather be full health if I can manage it. Pick up radius. And plenty of gold. I was originally kind of bored by the whole, like, gain nitra for mining. It was good, but it was like, eh, don't care that much. Now I'm recognizing it's probably one of the better upgrade setups just because you're so limited. Okay. None of that, Pucumus. Ow, 42 damage on these rollers. That's going to be kind of tough. We might just want to boost some max HP here. Snag that. Clip size of the cost of reload speed or knockback enemies. Clip size... So the reason why we want to do that is there's the upgrade for the all-in-one bullet situation. And uh, you better bet that that's going to get really goofy if I have, like, twice as many bullets in there. Okay. I should get the movement speed. All 
All right. Still see the magnet. Don't want to deal with it. Probably should have grabbed the evolution. That wasn't going to be very good. No matter what. Pick up radius? No. Taking some ma major risks with this. Did the boss die? No, it's still alive, just barely. I see more piercing on this weapon. Sure. There it goes. Armor would be nice. There we go. Grab it. There's the magnet. There's the armor. Pick up radius. Max HP. Yeah, I'll probably just focus on the two guns that I've got. Get them to maximum. This is just bad. I'll go for the movement speed. We need it. Anyway, that was massively successful. I think I started this level at like level 20 something. And, uh, oh gosh, we still have many more levels to get through, but that's fine. Uh, luck that. Yeah, I knew we could do better. I think I can grab both of these. Damage and reload or more damage and piercing at the cost of rate of fire. Let's just go for the damage and piercing. We just need crowd clearing potential. Die three times, spend 2,500 gold. You know, it does kind of suck that there's an achievement for dying three times, because, like, I actively don't want to. But it's fine. Okay, I see the edge here. Yeah, the goal is always find one edge and then just kind of keep it in vision, but never stay too close. While you loop around the whole map, I think. Hello, this is a rude group of dudes. I don't remember if I still need Enor Pearls. I'm pretty golden on random resources. It's kind of one of those where, uh, let's see, more mining speed. Oh. He's good. Yeah, can I actually check how much I've got now? It's one of those where, like, I needed a bunch of Enor Pearls previously, but now it's the, um, it's the deep cores. Okay, I'm just gonna use that to my advantage. It's kind of an easy, uh, group kill. do enough damage to clear all of those guys out. Ooh. Oh, is this one of the course? Might be. So we haven't found the supply pod yet. Oh, is this... Does it count as a second one, though? Or is it just the core? No, it is just the core and some experience. I guess that's good in its own right. Okay, punch these. I'll put a paint job on it. Because I like the idea of going all in on, on one weapon, like giving it a boatload of stats. But I actually think that's practical. Damn. We, we might actually want to invest in more defense here in retrospect. I hadn't really thought about it, but this is probably the one level where you are going to be taking the, the most random damage. Just because there's no way to... Wow, bye. There's no way to fully avoid all that damage coming in. Drain gold, experience when you take damage. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll snag that. Wow, there's a bunch of experience there, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get any, get any of it. We can loop back around. Oh. 40 damage. Yeah, this hurts. 
Like, I can kind of do enough damage to knock the enemies back, but, um... Okay, at least this will get me some levels. Max HP. And we're kind of out in the open. Please give me... Okay, reduce weapon range. More bullets, less range. Sawn off. going for some red sugar and it toasted me instead. On the plus side, these bullets are so big that I think they are just insta-giving most things. I think we just give the boss. Oh, it's not even an I think. I know I just killed the boss. Or gib gibbed him. Gibdo. Uh, let's see. Reload speed... Now let's let's focus on our other weapons if I can get them. Not as good of a well, I don't know actually. Yeah, I probably have to book it. There's no way I can get anything else here. I don't think I missed too much. Maybe just like a quarter of the map. Okay, more luck. Definitely more reload speed. Can I get both of these? No. That was one off. Rude. At least we get some free red sugar. I like the stronger I get, the less likely we are to just get cooked here. There you are. Hello, sir. How do you enjoy many bullets? I think I got him with a... One of the big shots. I'll take the experience gain now. Okay. These are great, actually. Crit chance for every nitro you have. I think I have to go with that one. The luck is so tempting, though. But I've already got somewhat of a Nitro Factory going. Oops, let's not be there when he goes by. Cripes, they melt. I'm almost to the point where I'm moving as fast as I'm mining. Eh, not quite. It feels like it, though. It's near seamless. There are definitely some runs I've had where I've just, like, hit a rock wall and I'm just slow to a crawl. But here it's just like, oh, hey, rocks. Nom, 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 nom. I think I already brought up the Artemis Fowl reference, but it's so valid. Hello, egg. Farewell. I mean, I guess I didn't kill it after all, but whatever. Yeah, let's just grab a little bit of everything. I do I actually have to worry about the, uh... The mid-bosses, though. I'm not strong enough that I can just outright destroy them. Get in there, though. Okay, pocket blooms. Yeah, what we really need to do is just get my reload speed to be very short and my damage to be very high. Because fire rate is not valid. Uh, let's just do re reload speed for all weapons. Fire rate does not apply to this sucker. Fire rate doesn't apply to half of my weapons. And we also just have a ton of it already. Alright. Hopefully we get a magnet after this. I think we just got a magnet. Uh, 1% of... Yeah, I'll go for 1% of damage for every 5 gold I have. It, it's not going to push the dial. I'm not going to be terribly conservative with my gold usage. It's mostly just a, like, hey, we're here. Uh, 
I might as well take the extra, what is that, 20% damage? Every single, uh, every single floor. Maybe a little bit more than that. Probably gets up to a 30. Now, obviously if I had invested into the gain gold when I mine, then I'd have even more, but I'd rather go for the damage boost than the, well, actually, I don't know, that might have been a mistake. You can just tell when the sniper goes off, because just a whole line of things just instantly stops existing. Ow, there was an enemy in there. News to me. And my pickup radius is pretty good too, so we can actually just hoover up most of this junk. Alright, Dreadnought's up. Do not want to be where he jumps. Okay, I think... Oh, gross. And yeah, I might as well mine through an amount of the rock, if only because it gets me Nitro. He's almost dead, so we'll just use this time as kind of bonus. Oops. That could have been dangerous. Okay, get this up. Plasma plus burn or plasma plus slow. I think I'm actually going to go for this slow. We don't we don't need the uh We don't need the damage over time that badly. Okay, eh, I guess in this case I'll go for the reload speed. Grabbing that, should be good enough. Let's get out of here. It'd be pretty embarrassing if I goofed this. Uh, let's see. Bonus damage, range, or... Nah. I'm gonna reroll. I can do better than this. There we go. That's worthless. I guess I'll take the 25% damage. It's a little overkill since I'm trying to get an amount of my weapons up to maximum, but on the flip side, the sniper rifle is very much king. And I should respect that. I still want to do like a full plasma run, but I don't know how doable that's going to be. Nope, oh, come back. There we go. It does feel like the build's getting just strong enough that I might actually be able to just swim through my enemies. Yoink. Okay, what else do we have here? It's kind of just like a chill swim. Better to get all the resources early and then kill the collected enemies. And also, I mean, we're level 60. What did, like, how high can I even go here? <sighs> wow. That was effective. Oops. Can't leave this behind. Ooh, it spawned in a bad spot. Set him off. Oh, froze him so hard he couldn't. Okay. Damage, but slows you down. Probably just go for the reload and fire rate when standing still. I don't actually care for it too, too deeply. but it at least makes practical sense for me to build in that direction. Okay, and I've got a boogie. I've barely gotten anything out of this level. We still need six more Bulu caps and a bunch of other stuff.
and like we're almost done with the level. I, it's fine. Eh, no, I don't know. There's always the question of like how efficient do you actually need to be to win these games? Because I don't think the answer is actually particularly efficient. I think I think at this point, especially with my meta progression, build unlocks and some other stuff, like we're kind of golden. Please don't just puke at me, sir. Oh, there's two of them. You know what? Actually, there being two of them is kind of good for me. It wards off stuff like that. Where I just insta-give one of them. I think actually with this, we might be... Done. Ow. That hurt? That hurt. Ow. I was hoping that I could exp uh, kill one of the fro- Like a frozen exploder. Safely. But no. There is no safely. Alright, anything else? Nah, we're good. Seventy max HP? Yeah. I wonder if I can pin that for next time. One would hope. Because that was one of the things I was kind of hoping for when I saw that you could pin. I guess we'll find out. Because yeah, I, I think I need to make a habit of, I if I see a red upgrade, even if I can't afford it, I, assuming a pinned thing carries over to the next shop. Oh, we got our Morkite right from the get-go. Surprise. <laughs> wow. As effective. I think I'm in the opposite direction to find an edge. Not that it's, like, super bad. Okay, here we go. Especially with, like, how fast I dig and kill, and a bunch of other things. Yeah, the plasma gun doesn't do quite as much damage as, as I would like it to. But I guess I wouldn't expect it to. Ow. There was an attempt. I thought I was going to do something cool, knock the rocks into them, but it it just takes a long time to mine. I almost wonder if mining speed doesn't affect how quickly you knock those things down. Okay, supply beacon, beacons over there. Supply bacon. Man. <laughs> kind of nothing. I was just thinking, ah... Uh, Whenever I say bacon, especially when I'm recording, I think back to like early, well, I'd say early modern internet, I kind of web 2.0, 2.0-ish, more or less just like early social media when uh, there was kind of like community, internet community-based memes that actually meant something, or at least people were, you know, thought they meant something. Uh, gold blue mining a rock is very good. Red sugar for the max HP, though, I think is going to be the bigger one. Maybe. Uh, but, like, I always think back to the, the stupid Narwhal Bacon's Reddit meme. I don't even know if it was a meme, but it was one of those where it was, like, it was big for maybe all of 2010. Uh, where people would say it, and people would be like, yeah. And then that just died. And I think about that often. Uh, like, more, more often maybe than I should. Because it's not like I cared about it. It was meaningless. Oh, wow, yeah, I really did just start in the top right and immediately dug to the bottom left like a goofus. Um, 
but you know how much kind of has been forgotten by the just utter speed of the internet um you know left behind lost etc etc um but then even beyond that well that was quick uh even beyond that like how much it's almost changed for the worse chill has been reading a bunch of books oh i'm pushing it here do we think i think i can do it Phil's been reading a bunch of books about... No. Uh, about social media and how it's, like, become considerably and demonstrably worse over the last, you know, X number of years. Uh, well, I mean, last decade, but then also caused uh, untold societal harms as a result, too. Yep, it was pinned. It stuck around. I love that. Uh, let's see. Snag those. Do one with the reload speed? No, I can live with that. But just thinking about, like, how much friendlier... Okay, I'd say how much friendlier the internet felt, you know, back in 2000-whatever. There was definitely plenty of unfriendliness. I remember getting into, like, more than a handful of flame wars, but it never felt, like, super serious. It was just people being internet awful to each other as opposed to like real life awful on the internet to each other um and like how much that has become the prevalent thing to do online compared to uh guffawing about narwhals baconing whatever the hell that means meant i don't know i was a freshman in, in college i wasn't paying attention i kind of tried to stay off of reddit and was very successful at doing so for years i don't think i'd mess with the website up until 2012 yes i think it was summer summer of 2012 uh largely just because i i had an internship and i wasn't doing anything my boss was like hey uh we need you to make a website for our lab okay done uh shit that only took uh like two weeks now what you know we can't just let you go that's going to do well, you know, that's just not in the contract. I was there for a summer. That's what they had me on for. So what do they what do they have kind of a web designer artist tech techie guy do? I don't know, 3D rent 3D model brains and render them as like turnarounds for presentations. Okay, I could do that. Except for those rendering, if you've never done it before, rendering takes like agonizing amounts of time and processing power, and they had me on like an ancient Mac. For those of you that know um, computers, question mark. This is when Snow Leopard was like the 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 top uh, Mac operating system. And specifically, or like the top, it was the new one. It had come out maybe a couple months prior. The computer was so old it could not... Um, I don't think status effect damage is going to do anything. It was so old it could not run Snow Leopard. Like, I was hamstrung by the system that I was given. Wow, melt for me. 80 gold, 5 luck. 80 gold is interesting. I actually don't hate that. Wow. That entire section just stopped existing. Um, But yeah, so... I had this computer, and it was the only computer I could use because uh, the lab had some, like, serious HIPAA, I think, restrictions on, like, can't bring in my own computer, so I have to use the computer they have, but they don't feel like spending money on a new computer. So I'm just stuck with no literally nothing, except for a computer that can barely run, that is currently just rendering videos endlessly. Shots... Okay, twice as much damage, less damage. Or... Thick boy. Thick boy! This is the wide dwarf run. I don't know. I might have to like draw a thumbnail or something. All of my all of my bullets in one shot. I just want a gun that eats another gun. Can I have that? Or it's just like designate another gun. This gun inherits all of the other gun's stats. Enjoy. It's irrevocably broken. 
nothing can change about that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, just to go back to the kind of the random, the ramble, just like, yeah, I had nothing to do, so I just spent a lot of time on Reddit, and I think I was playing NetHack as well, because I could just, um, was it SSH? I don't know, I've lost a lot of this knowledge just because it does, didn't matter to me anymore. Uh, cold damage? Nah, damage and reload. But I, I've lost a lot of this knowledge over the last, you know, while. It just wasn't relevant, so I don't retain it. Uh, but yeah, I spent a lot of time browsing Reddit, watching YouTube videos, and... Uh, ooh, 40% fire rate to projectile weapons, 40% damage to projectile weapons. Hell yeah. And we still have more. I mean, screw it. So plasma could burn or extra fire rate and reload speed. Nah, let's keep doing that. I have enough for exactly one of these. Kinetic damage is pretty good. I'm going to go for the armor. Just a little bit of survivability is going to go far. We're almost done. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What was I going to say? Uh, but yeah, so, you know, after that, it was kind of hooked, question mark. Social media is dangerous. And like, yeah, I was on YouTube a bunch, but at least YouTube, you can kind of control what you watch. You know, binge a hell of a lot of Game Grumps back in the day. Sure, why not? Uh, but it's not like it's going to actually interfere with your ability to focus or your mental health. Like, that was positive. Uh, you know, mix in some Northern Lion, mix in whoever else. Uh, but you don't lose, like, an afternoon doom scrolling. Uh, I didn't actually start getting onto Twitter, I think, until, like, 2019 or anything like that. Uh, mainly because I think at some point I realized that uh, I was auto-posting all of my YouTube videos to Twitter. Uh, and... I had like a thousand plus followers and I was just like, oh shit, I'm not saying anything here. I am literally just barfing videos in the general direction that feels bad. So I just decided, yeah, okay, fine. I will actually start using the site and communicating with people. It's less socially isolating. Uh, and like that was good, except for the fact that Twitter sucks. Um, I like, guess not a healthy place to be. I do not enjoy that website. I'm very glad that it is currently on uh, the ex on on an extreme decline and probably will never recover. Um, let's see. Snag this. We're still looking for a decent amount of stuff, but I guess we're clearing through. Uh, I don't think I got, like, hardcore addicted to Reddit until uh, after... I think it was like after 2016 and then I kind of beat it back for a while and then COVID happened and they came back in the worst way because it's just how can you not man I'm assuming some people were able to stay off the internet but like for me it was very much just the like no I need to stare into the void longer it doesn't help me I don't benefit from this but I need to stare into the void human nature sucks it'd be easier if we could actually just mechanically be like, huh, I have identified that this is bad for me. I'm going cold turkey on it. But unfortunately, our brains are like, this is bad for us. Oops. Do we want to go for damage and move speed nitra? Uh, pickled nitra is probably a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Should probably go for some crit here. I'm actually kind of disappointed I haven't gotten the crit goggles. So here's the downer. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. We've already almost killed the bosses. Okay. Keep going for that. At least I got plenty of gold, but we did not get nearly enough nitra. It's fine. Yeah, the one problem with the crit bonus and the nitra is that I'm going to be glacial. We're going into the final fight here. Anything else? I guess I'll just grab the crit damage. Oh, immediately piss off an egg. Uh, nice part is I'm extremely strong, so it's not too much of a problem. 
but that kind of is part of all of these things. Probably, you know, like I was saying, it's hard to resist this kind of stuff, is that between tech companies being like, ooh, if we make everybody hate each other, they're going to be on our platforms even longer. Uh, and then also just people realizing that, like, hey, being awful to each other is fun. I hate that. I hate I hate the idea of even just being mean to a person on purpose. I do it. Uh, like, some of my worst memories are just being pointlessly mean to people, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't be that way. But, like, tribalism or just me being a jerk makes it very easy to continue to do so. Do so. Uh, but that, you know, thinking whenever I say bacon, I think of narwhal bacons and then I feel sad about it because some part of me is just kind of like, yeah, how much have we kind of lost? Even if it's meaningless drivel, uh, those like positive little moments and memes and stuff and ideas and aspects. I think about no bones day often. I think that rose to prominence during COVID. Wasn't it? I think it was during COVID. It was like right beforehand or something. But it was like a pug. I think it was like some weird pug. And the person would post whether or not the, the dog was like flopsy that day or not. And it would post if it's like a bones day or no bones day. It's kind of like a, hey, treat yourself well. You know, don't, don't grind yourself into an early grave. Uh, take care of yourself. Take time off so on and so forth. Unfortunately, I think the dog at this point has passed away. Uh, I mean, as dogs do. Can't expect them to live forever, sad as that is. Uh, but it was like kind of a big thing at the time. You know, just for a couple months, a year or something, people would post like, hey, it's a Bones Day or no Bones Day. And it's just gone. I know I've kind of waxed about like, you know, I kind of miss certain memes, but, like, some of them were actually a little bit more positive or, you know, meaningfully helpful. Small chance of nitro when you mine a rock. Like, what if I... Oh, do I not have re-rolls unlocked? Maybe I don't. But I can pit... Mm. This is probably fine. Here's the problem. I'm really slow. Uh, well, you know what? I can reroll a bit. I was really hoping to get all of my weapons, their evolutions, but instead, I guess we got this up to level 24, which I guess isn't that bad. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think about No Bones Day and the bacon a lot, just in terms of just kind of like, hey, these are things that actually we've kind of lost and never replaced. They were a somewhat significant part. DRG coupons can now be found in a uh, a dive. Same thing with the Bolt Shark. And we've unlocked Sharpshooter Mastery. Oh, so we can do it. You know what? We might as well. Well, let's take a look at our upgrades. I've got two of these cores. Uh, oh, shoot. I do need more Enor Pearls. That's a problem. Increases the amount of nitro you start with. Reroll artifacts from the supply pods for nitro. I think I am actually going to get a couple of those just because. And you know what? I've got a ludicrous amount of credits. Can I do shift? Nope. And I have to nope 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 nope. Cannot right click to click faster. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go out of my way to start grabbing some of these resources. But yeah, if I can max out the luck boost, I mean, just being able to get better things right from the get go. Okay, I have no more cores. I'm gonna need a hundred. So let's probably leave that for later. That's good enough. Okay, so let's do... Do we want to do a class mod mastery? No, we should do a weapon. What weapon do we do a mastery on? 
Because we did it with a machine gun platform, which is good. I don't mind the plasma carbine. We could do the sludge pump. Sludge pump. Hazard 3. Uh, access to fire and acid weapons. The mining speed would be tempting, but yeah, let's just go inter interrogator. This is max the uh, sludge pump. I have a lot of these runs I'm going to want to do. Have to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, was I what was I gonna say about all of this? I don't know. I just just these are these things were like weirdly important to people for a very brief period of time, and actually like kind of made a difference in certain ways. And then we just forgotten about them. You know, the the meme stopped being a meme. People stopped posting about it. The algorithms said no more. We don't care. Uh, you know, you don't get to care about this. And these things have kind of dipped off. Potency or status effect damage? No, we wanna we wanna get this thing up to level 18 as fast as possible. Nice part is I think you only get upgrades for the things that you have. Oh wait. Okay, good. I still heal. Class mods that make it so you don't heal? I forget. I was worried for a second standing on the fire being like, oh yeah, this could actually be fatal for me. Let's see, weapon range? Probably weapon range. They didn't hurt that bad. More damage. It's definitely going to need some um, reload speed, though. I'm trying to think of other stuff kind of in that vein. I mean, I think this, this is true of, like, a lot of internet community stuff, too. Discount to all shop prices. Holy snap. That's amazing. Um. Ah, potency. That's a good example of this. Well, I mean, actually, even from like an internet or internet, not so internet community thing. I guess I haven't been to a convention in a while, but I remember kind of fondly, kind of awkwardly, there was a lot of people that would like cosplay for Homestuck or something. Uh, I guess, it, yeah, it was Homestuck was like one of the big ones, um, but people would cosplay that avidly. Oh, we have a magnet. I don't actually know how useful that's going to be for me here. Um, it was always kind of charming to see, like, so many people all into exactly one uh, piece of media. And I wonder how much, like, more fragmented that has become over the last, like, X number of years. Uh, kind of like how I often... Ooh. How I often complain about, like, uh, there being too many, too many video games. Uh, is kind of the constant question of, like, is there just too much media, period? Extra lifetime, more beam, more beams. I'm gonna go for the magnet early just because we need some levels. I'm kind of weak. Probably gonna go for the damage. Much as I need the reload sp speed. I don't wanna pick an, a lesser upgrade just for the sake of Getting a small power boost. I also want to get some movement speed. This guy is glacial. Okay. Looks like we've seen almost everything on the map. Please melt faster. Thank you. Yeah, it hurts. Ah, uh, reload speed. Okay. I mean, we made it out pretty well. Alright, let's go out. I think I'm going to go for paint job. 
lifetime is kind of moot, in my opinion. If only because... I guess you spend less time reloading, but if I can get the reload speed to be low, it's not as bad. That should be good. We have got a lot of range upgrades on the, these beams, which is good. Yeah, that, that beam is going to let me hose a hell of a lot of things. That extra mining speed is going to be very appreciated. I don't know. It's got some legs. We just need to not die. But I often wonder kind of in terms of like the speed. Uh, how many like fandoms and internet communities and whatnot like... Media franchises that people got super hooked on. Um, how does the fragmentation handle that? You know, when I was a kid, I mean... I, I met my wife at least in part due to our mutual... Uh, love of Star Wars. And like, it, only a part. Oh, we're toast. I'm gonna snag this. I might be able to. That's a lot of beams my way out of this. Yeah, toast. Damn. Let's give that another shot. I think I can do it. I think we just got a lot of range upgrades and not much else, which was holding me back. At least we get the diver's manual, whatever that does. Uh, but yeah, so we we. Let's see. I think I had noticed her because she was drawing like a general grievous and. Uh, I thought she was being a show-off, but it was kind of cute all the same. Uh, and then we just started talking about, like, a lot of other nerdy stuff that we were into. You know, just as you do. Uh, and nowadays, I think about Star Wars not as much as I used to. In fact, I don't think about Star Wars in a particularly positive fashion, which I think is unfortunate. I think they just announced a new one that maybe could be cool, but it's one of those that, like, Disney picking it up has kind of ruined some of the mystique. But I also think just time does that, too. We want reload speed. Our biggest issue is that we only have one weapon, and that when it is not firing, we are dying. I have no stopping power. Which means I should probably seriously consider boosting my um, movement speed and mining speed rather than even the weapon itself because it does a decent amount of damage. Um, but I think about Star... I used to think about Star Wars a lot. You know, it was a great franchise, IP, universe, everything. And there was just so much to it. You know, tons of books, tons of games, tons of shows. Like, the side media was weirdly endless. I don't think there's a single franchise I can think of other than well I mean I guess it's it's all Disney now but you know the only thing that comes close is is Marvel and DC you know you can read endless Spider-Man at this point if you really want to uh, I actually don't recommend it it's it's really frustrating um but that kind of with this like oversaturation are we ever going to get another Star Wars you know, people find things to get obsessed about, but, like, how many of you got really into Bellatro this year? How many of you, like, saw how many people were obsessed with Bellatro, and how many of you are still obsessed with it? I realize this is weirdly kind of interrogational, but it's kind of one of those where, from the perspective of somebody who, like, liked these games, uh, or media franchises or things... It's fascinating watching them kind of come and go at an increasingly accelerated pace. Uh, this is going to blow up in my face, and I don't like that. Actually, it's not that bad. Okay, we got, like, everything, which is great. Now, all we have to do is just get the supply drop. I'm only level 7, which is probably bad.
Because I think I'm going to kill the boss with a supply drop. If I can, actually. I might have to loop them around first. Let's pick up some experience as we go. Actually, I might get lucky here. Because it's a ranged attacker. Which means it doesn't have to go for me. Let's go for the potency. More beams? More beams. Because reload speed and damage I can get from regular upgrades. Beams I cannot. I'm gonna kill it, aren't I? Nope, didn't get it. Perfect. Okay, red sugar increases your max HP? I think so. There's other upgrades I'd like to grab. Okay, so our goal here is to kind of cook most of these little guys instead. But I think we're going to end up cooking the boss, too. I'm going to go for the mining speed. Oh, blessed be. There's a little magnet. It's a movement speed. I don't think... I don't know if crit even factors here. I'm going to keep going for the potency. I want that status effect damage to be really high. Okay, then I should get out of here. Um, but, yeah, I just... I wonder if... Kind of how things have changed so dramatically. If it's going to get to the point where it's almost impossible to be a, a fan of anything long term. Because the world has just decided that that's not economical. Damage the cost of potency? No. I could do the status effect damage. I guess I'll do it. Because I think that's effectively a potency boost, question mark. Because, yeah, I'm trying to think of major franchise things or media entities. God, it sounds so corporate saying that. But, like, I'm trying to think of things that have happened recently. Um, games, TV shows, movies, books, whatever. Uh, that specifically people are, like, fans of. Ow. Unfortunately, this weapon has no stopping power. But I do want to kill this sucker. My hope is that it just melts to death. Okay, that should be enough. Nope. Got greedy. Yeah, it got hit by too many exploders all at once. I love the corrosive sludge pump, but it is such a tough sucker. Oh, you know what? We should probably do a class mastery first. Because if I could do the class mastery, get the driller up. I bet it would be easier, maybe. But also there's a lot of stats or there's a lot of things here like status effects that I also need to go towards cuz yeah, we've got status effect damage and then also potency of your weapons, which I just don't have and that would be helpful. Anyway, we're going to max out our luck because yeah, the more base luck we can have, the easier this is going to be. It might also be one of those where I just have to work my way up. Uh, do like a lower hazard level. Maybe. For now though. Uh, sorry for the waxing about just like, hey man, I miss when things uh, actually stuck around in, you know, kind of humanity's uh, random access memory, short term memory, long term memory. When people actually could like focus on a thing long enough and not just get immediately hooked on something new or shuffled off to something new or who knows. Hopefully that comes back at some point, but I don't see it, and that kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.